What are the two types of gouts? Acute gout, chronic gout. In acute gout, who is the king of chemicals? Which is the best treatment? Indometacin. Patient comes crying, doctor, save my life. And his toe is big toe, metatarsal joint. is typically swollen, inflamed. You give one indomethacin, wow, great relief. And he'll bring another 10 gouts. You can become gout swamiji. Huh? To take care of any gout I can start. And from there you can become a top rheumatologist. You don't need DM for that. Doctorated medicine is not required. Few good patients who talk good about you is sufficient. Let me tell you. Even if you have DM degree, if the patients don't talk good about you, you are not worth it. Huh? So that's very important. Colchicine is another drug which can be given in acute gout. Another favorite question of examiner. Can I you give? Can you not give? Colchicine. Then chronic gout, we give a uricosuric drug like probenicid or sulfine pyrazine or a drug which inhibits the uric acid production like allopurinol or febucu, febuxostat, either of the two, you can be able to give. So one of the obvious, very favorite question of examiner is, can you give allopurinol in acute gout? No sir, no way, we should not give in acute gout, allopurinol. So what is colchicine? Colchicin is an alkaloid with anti-inflammatory properties used for relieving the inflammation and uh, the pain in acute gouty arthritis. I am very happy. Our students are also proposing Ras Buriques. We will also talk about that Buriques at the end. Yeah, that's also another very recent drug. Colchicin is used for inflammation and pain. Its action starts within 12 to 24 hours after you give it. It basically polymerizes, I mean, prevents the polymerization of the tubules into microtubules, which are required for the movement of the inflammatory cells. Inflammatory cells need to come walking, no? So, for that walking, they need legs. For the legs, they need uh, the microtubules. So, it prevents leukocyte migration and inhibit the cell mitosis that is a function of this colchicin autumn nail which is the plant alkaloid so fundamentally how is uric acid metabolism doctor already we studied in food chicken biryani mutton biryani chicken 65 we eat a lot of animal food which brings us purines after the degradation of the animal cells. Those purine bases become degraded ultimately and uric acid will form. Other way, within our own body continuously cells are broken which are also giving rise to purines. They become broken to hypoxanthin, to xanthin becomes uric acid which we studied already in biochemistry. How will kidney handles? It filters the uric acid. It reabsorbs the uric acid. It secretes the uric acid and ultimately it excretes the uric acid. So how is possible that a guy develops hyperuricemia? Either there is an inadequate excretion or excessive production. Accordingly, we have overproducers, under excretors which who can land up in hyperuricemia. So what are the types of drugs that we use, doctor? We use urate lowering drugs, allopurinol, probenicid or febucostat. And Acute arthritic drugs, acute stage may, we use NSAIDs, colchicine or steroids. But rest analgesia and wait for the time. So that is what we need to advise the patient. So the colchicine we are talking about, the faster drug. You can give it orally. Colchicine tablets are available. And uh, adverse effects are seen in 80% of people who receive the colchicin. That's right. Jivita proposes a pegylated porcine uh, ACE case. We will talk about that also in the end. 
that's good if you come prepared to the class we will all enjoy the session because i assume that you know most of the things in fact you know more than me you are expected to know more than me because you are taking the exam eh? so call this in what is the main side effect is the important question actually one of the students said eh, keep asking in the middle middle some one slide where you have question so people wake up and answer and then continue the regular class shall i do that i am only afraid uh, uh, it may slightly delay but that keeps our enthusiasm high so instead of directly telling you that colgesin causes diarrhea if i ask you what will colgesin cause to the git constipation or diarrhea then you need to a guess marna padega then we go forward i think we will start practicing that kind of sessions in uh, um from tomorrow eh? so that you can come prepared to the class and get ready for answering any sort of question eh? now if you give intravenously it will decrease the gi disturbances but there can be sloughing of the skin and subcutaneous tissues if you give that way and uh, colchicin is known for two problems liver damage blood dyscrasias you should not forget with regard to colchicin so it is uh, relatively rare like that <clears throat> now nsaids what is the importance indometacin is the king among the chemicals to be used as an nsaid most often used in acute gouty attacks but in view of its adverse effects naproxen and silindac as the nsaids preferable nsaids usage is increasing and uh, uh why nsaids and colchicin if you compare nsaids have become the drug of choice instead of colchicin acute gout colchicin's dirty diarrhea so it is a wonderful drug diarrhea is little unacceptable which is not the problem with nsaids hence you should remember one of the favorite mcqs of examiner side effect of colchicin which is also used in familial mediterranean fever ha ah, it is a drug of choice then what are the various uricosuric drugs we use probenecid which is an organic acid which competes with the uric acid from getting reabsorbed and lets the uric acid get prevented from getting reabsorbed so that it is lost into the urine it is uh, it acts at the anionic transport site and it also being just like uric acid probenecid being a organic acid it competes with it and prevents the reabsorption of the uric acid and shows its uh, uricosuric effect so we combine colchicin and probenecid generally while treating the uh, chronic gout this uricosuric drugs probenecid uh orally very well absorbed and uh, any other drug which is basically handled by kidney mainly handled by kidney even that renal handling also is interrupted and the signs penicillin cephalosporins methotrexate which are all actively secreted by the renal tubules their excretion also get impaired i mean affected by the probenecid so there is a reason all these drugs get accumulated in the body if you if the patient is already taking probenecid hence you need to reduce the dosage of these drugs what are they penicillin cephalosporins cephalosporins methotrexate you should not forget now what is it basically doing uric acid want to get reabsorbed it is preventing that uric acid is remaining excessively within the tubular fluid and that can precipitate urate stones favorite mcq of examiner for which gout drug urate stones are a side effect for the uricosuric drug like probenecid is fortunate to remember so how can you decrease the chance you have to dilute that uric acid which is prevented from getting reabsorbed in the tubular fluid by asking patient to drink a lot of water when he is taking a uricosuric drug 
you can alkalinize the urine by giving citralka potassium citrate which will prevent the uric acid from undergoing stone conversion and make it more dissolved and if you give low doses of this uricosuric agents and salicylates then uh, both of them are known to inhibit the uric acid secretion so that is the reason you need to be careful to give aspirin to a guy who has a gout you have to give nsh but indomethacin is preferred not aspirin because it is it will interfere with the uric acid secretion right and that can precipitate the gout is what need to be remembered so what are the common side effects of this uh, uricosuric drug probenecid doctor gi disturbances dermatitis blood dyscrasias etc now comes the allopurinol <coughs> allopurinol for a chronic tophaceous gout we use allopurinol the guy comes with bumps and bumps of uh, tophi you give allopurinol only allopurinol among all gout drugs can dissolve a already formed tophus that's a very important point to be observed it will reduce the size of already established tophi so how will xanthin oxidase is important doctor hypoxanthin to xanthin xanthin to uric acid for this conversion basically you require xanthin oxidase but whenever you are giving allopurinol colchicine is administered concomitantly in the first week of therapy why why you want to give colchicine concomitantly in the first week of therapy uh, if you are already giving allopurinol in the first week simple any sudden change in the uric acid levels precipitates crystal formation so that is the reason colchicine is combined in the first week while you are giving allopurinol then uh, allopurinol's main mechanism is inhibition of the xanthin oxidase which converts hypoxanthin to xanthin and xanthin to uric acid in fact the same xanthin oxidase which is inhibited by allopurinol that itself metabolizes the allopurinol also after all if you take hypoxanthin xanthin and allopurinol all the three look like uh, twin sisters they all have similar structure they all can be metabolized by allo i mean xanthin oxidase so that way allopurinol is a competitive inhibitor it looks like that and it uh, binds with that instead of xanthin and it inhibits the enzyme so allopurinol itself get metabolized to alloxanthin even that metabolite of the allopurinol which is alloxanthin also is a inhibitor of xanthin oxidase that's a point and even de novo purine synthesis is there no we have studied two kinds of uh, one is salvage pathway other is uh, um, de novo salvage means already pre whenever a cell breaks and uh, there is a release of the nucleic acids from that nucleic acids if they are produced you call it as salvage de novo means freshly phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate is being taken up and then production is done even that is also inhibited by the allopurinol a point that you need to observe now what are the adverse effects of uh, allopurinol gi disturbances dermatitis impossible you will remember this because everywhere gi disturbance blood dyscrasias dermatitis blah 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 we had been repeating regularly if it doesn't cause then we will remember rarely leads to hypersensitivity blood dyscrasias also but two important uh, caveats that you need to remember use allopurinol with care precaution in the people who already have liver disease and bone marrow depression is what you need to basically remember then one of the important dirty side effects is steven johnson syndrome can be precipitated by in few people rarely hypersensitivity can lead to steven johnson's 
in the patients receiving allopurinol. Now comes our audience question. Febuxo stretch. It is basically a new type of uh, xanthine oxidase inhibitor. It is structurally unrelated to the allopurinol. But all the reasons why you give indications why you give allopurinol, you can give Febuxo stretch. And the way mercaptopurine, azathioprine, theophylline, allopurinol interacts by being a xanthine oxidase inhibitor, the same, same drug interactions are even seen with Febuxo stretch. Reasonable to understand, right? Because it is also a xanthine oxidase inhibitor. And its side effects are also similar to allopurinol. Now comes Peguricase, our uh, learnt audience this evening's August gathering was proposing what is Peguricase. Peguricase is the investigational drug which is a pegylated polyethylene glycol conjugate of the recombinant porcine uricase. If it is a treatment resistant gout, then we basically use the Peguricase is what need to be remembered. So, when we have a garden variety of uh, drugs available, as a clinician, you need to have an algorithm of how to give, when to give, etc. So, first you need to evaluate whether this guy is an excessive producer or inadequate under secretor. Look at the urinary uric acid levels. Urinary uric acid level is low, but plasma is high. Under secretor. Both of them are high, urine and also plasma are high, means excessive production. Uricosuric agent is required for under secretors, xanthine oxidase inhibitor for excessive producers. Generally, whenever the patient is having renal disease, nephrolithiasis, high 24 hour urinary uric acid levels, elderly people already who had established to five, in all those scenarios, allopurinol. Only if it is a mild gout, then uricosuric drug is preferred is what you have to ultimately conclude for the today's evening clinical meeting.